What's going on people? We are back again with another freaking video and this one right here is all about Chris. Now when it comes to Chris, she is someone that has been accused of being a drug addict throughout the whole season of 90 Day Fiance the other way. Well, when it came to Instagram, Chris decided to respond to a subscriber, shall I say, or a follower, shall I say, yes, who decided to ask her about these allegations of her being a drug addict. And this is exactly what Chris say. People can talk all they want. They don't know the first thing about me. They only know how the TV want them to portray me. I ain't sweating anything that people say. If you knew me, you would know I've had more than a dozen people put in jail for breaking into my home or addicted. I've buried most of my friends from school, drug addicts. I was beaten as a child by a drug addict. This one's the kicker though. I raised a baby from one week to one year. That was born addicted to cocaine and suffered with illnesses tremors where all I could do was hold her tight and rock and sing her to calm her. Then after a year, I had to give her back to a parent that was still an addict. Quite interesting because why would you give a child back to a parent that is still an addict? Hmm. Hey, we continue. Worst feelings all around. Sad that a sleep disorder and bad injuries, mind you, I rolled my car three months before filming, which re-injured my neck, makes me a horrible person. Drug addict. To be honest with you, the problem with Chris is that she's always missing the point. People don't think you're a horrible person because they think you're a drug addict. People don't think you're a horrible person because you have narcolepsy. People think that you're a horrible person because that's how you display yourself throughout the season. You was aggressive with your tone, you was aggressive with your actions. We witnessed you push your own wife. We witnessed you shut down your wife, not even allowing her to speak. We witnessed you ignoring your wife, like literally ghosting her for like months. We also come to a conclusion, well, we've also come to the point in the tell all now where there's a conversation going on about, did you ever pay for her rent? I mean, on top of that, you lied to her for the most part. You told her he was coming to Columbia to, 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 to marry her and live with her, but you married her and then you left for like within what, two, three days? At the end of the day, people see how they see you because of just a pattern that you gave us. But hey, Chris will just act as if she's the victim. Hmm. If I'm this horrible person and all these people are sitting around running their mouths about me, what's that say about their lives? I've not said anything negative to anyone and won't. I had plenty of opportunities to laugh out loud. I just block and delete my personal pages because they are mine and I like my happy, awesome people on them. No negativity in my little social media world, just to have the time or the Fs to give. Laugh out loud, sorry for cursing. I mean, let's be real, cursing is exactly what she does. Cursing is like a mandatory language for Chris. But here's the thing though, she talks about having this happy, awesome life, having people around her who are positive and not negative. All she did was bring negativity to Jamie. I mean, honestly, we saw more lows than highs. I mean, listen, to be honest with you, I don't know what land that she's living in, but if Chris could just pull us up out of wherever she's at and come to reality, she will recognize that her actions are blatant to why people have had the response that we've had. She thinks that we're all, well, she thinks that we are all making it up. Not making it up. Deary, deary me. We are literally showing you what you, what you have shown us. We're responding to what you've shown us. And that is someone that has got a bad temper. Someone that will happily shout at their partner, but then will shut down their partner if, if their partner's trying to get a point across. We've seen someone pretty much lie to get what she wants. We've seen someone throw her own children under the bus as an excuse to why she's not coming back. We've seen someone use their 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 their, their medical condition or I'm not sure what you call it. I don't know if it's a medical condition or a disability. I'm not too sure, but I apologize for that. But you've seen you use that to be honest with you as an excuse as well. I mean, listen, Veronica said it best at the most recent tell all. There's nothing wrong with you coming home after a long day of work and ringing or texting your wife saying, hey, you okay, sorry I missed your phone call. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm too tired to talk, you know, I'll speak to you tomorrow. But the fact is though, you show no communication whatsoever. And the reality is that when it was brought up with a question about, about the rent and how much money you'd be spending and the money you've given to, 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 to Jamie, well, 
You came with no proof. Yeah, Jamie came with all the receipts. <laughs> That's wild. That is wild. But, uh, you know, Chris be Chris because Chris believes that she's right and everybody else is wrong. She's right and everybody else is after her. Sad life. Chris also went on to say, how many addicts have two homes? Car, motorcycle, three jobs, kids with cars, <laughs> one with a college degree. I've always worked really hard to help my kids have a better life and opportunities. I didn't have. If I were this big addict, I'm sure as heck wouldn't be where I am today and spending the money that I make from this show to start a charity to travel the country helping families in need. I know I don't have to defend myself. I know me, lol. But thank you for at least talking to me and listening before judging. That means a lot to me. Have a good Sunday. This is obviously in response to the person that had answered the question. In fact, the person simply said, hey, I've noticed people on Jamie's page saying that you are an addict. Please let us know your thoughts. And to be fair, the person did ask in a very nice, respectful way, which is absolutely fantastic. But to be honest, if she sits there and says that I shouldn't have to defend myself, you know, something that I've learned in life is that whenever somebody says, I don't really, I shouldn't really be defending myself, but that is always suspect. If someone's not going to defend themselves, they are not going to defend themselves. If somebody's not going to let something underneath their skin, they are not going to respond. People do not, re it's like when somebody says, and, and this, 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 one's, this one's one of the most extremes. It's like when somebody says, I've got a cousin whose cousin's with a black person, so I'm not racist, but that black person is a... Do you know what I mean? You know? It's like, wow. Or it's like when somebody, somebody goes, excuse my French, and then they go and swear. So, but you know what you're going to say is going to be a swear, or you know what you're going to say is going to be racist, so why are you going to say it? You know what I mean? I don't understand the, the logic because you've already mentally prepared yourself to know that you, you're going to say it, which means you also have the power to stop yourself from saying it. When people do that, I just don't trust them, point blank, period. Point being is that Chris started off the whole thing, the whole shenanigan flipping nonsense anyway, by pretty much sitting there and saying, hey guys, <laughs> people can talk all they want about me. I don't know the first thing about, you know, uh, you guys don't know the first thing about me. And at the end of the day, the show's portraying me this way and all this kind of mumbo jumbo. And you know what? I ain't even sweating it. Well, if you're not sweating it, then why are you giving us such a long ass response? People that don't sweat anything wouldn't give a response. You know what I mean? And people that, know that they're not in the wrong and they don't have to defend themselves wouldn't say anything but you keep talking and talking and talking i wonder if she sat there writing it with a knife in her hand but hey you guys let me know what you're thinking though let me know what you're thinking down below as far as i'm concerned man chris you can keep talking your smack at the end of the day how you are presenting yourself says it all it says it all but hey if i'm wrong let me know what you're thinking down below and please don't forget to like sub and of course peace